that Haley takes time on her days off to do stuff with her little sister who doesn't like to be recorded. But look what they're making. No, no, put me on camera. She'll bring it. I'm not. I heard she's gingerbread house. Hooray. Hooray. Don't get frosting on my yarn. I'd hate, I'd hate to have to. I got some on my finger. I'd hate to have to kill you. you uh, we got to show off. Wait, we got to do like the, how they, how they do it with the hand behind. <laughs> so it focuses. <laughs> I'm such an influencer. Twisted Yarns Vlogmas 2022. Today is Sunday, December 18th. You will hopefully be seeing this Monday, December 19th, when I am going to be having a shop update. Uh, it will probably be the last like update of ready to ship stuff for the year. Um, I'll send out a newsletter. I will put stuff in my stories tomorrow. I don't do intros very well, you'd think. You know, after a couple of days of doing this, I would know how. I'm Teresa. Uh, I dye yarn under the name Pretty Twisted Yarns. And I'm a knitter. And I have taken a class um, for knitwear design by Pip and Pin. And I'm not done with the class, although they did it live. Like once you buy it, you have it forever. And there's a pair of socks stuck in my head, like a colorway would get stuck in my head. And I've never had anything, like I've never designed anything before, uh, you know, uh, knitwear. And I'm like, how, I think I could do this. So I'm really excited. Um, it's a secret for now, but I'll give you hints. I'm pretty sure it's going to be fingering wit held double. I'm using tonals. And I'm pretty sure, but I haven't nailed it down yet. I think I'm going to call it the squishiest, comfiest, sitting with a kitten and knitting house socks. Because that's the best name ever for a pattern, I think. <laughs> so. No one will ever remember how to say it, and I can't make anything easy for anyone, because that just wouldn't be fun. Coconut, you're being very lovey. So, I didn't get, like, a whole bunch of footage today. I cranked a lot of things. What the heck did I crank? Ooh, let me show you this. So, I have a local yarn store. You've seen me go there, called Pan Banged Knits, and they're amazing. They have the best yarn, like everything from Barocco to like Pretty Twisted Yarns. It's ridiculous, the range that they have. But anyways, I'm cranking some socks for them for samples. And I thought I would show you a couple of things that they have. I will link th to um, their shop in the description box below. And if I can find the specific yarn, I will link to that as well. But this is Barocco Sock, and I have never knit with, hand knit or on my machine, with this uh, yarn. It's Barocco Comfort Sock, 50% Superfine Nylon, 50% Superfine Acrylic. So no wool content, and you can't, you can't tell. I don't know if y'all have, I'm sure most of you have knit with Barocco. I just haven't. 
But look at it. This is, I haven't kitchenered the toe yet. But how pretty is this? And it feels like a little softer than like a workhorse yarn. Like a little bit softer than um, like a regia. So that's that. And then this other one is called Diamond Lux Footloose. Um, this one has a color on like lot number, but it is a 75 Superwash Merino, 25% polyamide hand dyed. This is the tag. And this is very soft and very nice. This feels like a pretty fine merino. It, it's not as fine as my merino, but it's, it's a nice merino. But look how fun. It's like self-patterning. It's like not even self-striping, it's self-patterning. So what I do on my machine when I do self-striping is I do the toe on the back of the cylinder so that when I kitchener the toe, it doesn't, it'll look like this. It won't disrupt. This is the top of the sock, right? And this will be the toe. Dang it, Teresa, get your stuff together. This will be the toe. It won't disrupt the stripe pattern sequence, where if I did it how you would normally do it, it would disrupt the stripes. I'm fancy like that. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I have one more sock each to do for them. And I'll be heading over there sometime this week. Thursday, I think is the last Mitche Thursday for the year. I'm pretty sure she said that. They're shutting down after that until like maybe the second or something. Any hoozle. Cheers. Grab your drink, shove a rail. Um, I have some Diet Coke and an extremely fancy uh, tumbler. There's like pretty twisted yarn stickers on everything in my house. Kind of cute. My daughter, who's 10, has um, a water bottle she takes to school that has like my holiday sticker, my <laughs> Halloween sticker, my regular sticker. It's cute. The, I put a little bit of work on my heel, on my freckled whimsy sock. This would be up to color 18 for my freckled whimsy. And I have already cut in for and started the heel. That way I can like try it on and measure and, and put the... Um, the needles in where I'm going to insert my toe. I learned something really cool also um, to do on my sock machine because I'm wanting to make beanies like how Andy the Nitrous made for um, just add color and there is a different cast on. It's called Juana's one by one cast on and in hand knitting it would be like a tubular cast on. So just this was my I had attempted it before and always failed drop stitches or whatever, so this isn't like the prettiest of Juana's cast-ons, but it's the first like successful one that I did. So I don't even know if you can kind of see that it's sort of like tubular. And this is the colorway um, No Sleep Till Rhinebeck. I only had a tiny bit, so I knew it wouldn't ever be like a full sock. So I just, I really was just trying the Juana's one by one. I did a little bit of ribbing. I put a heel in and a foot in, so I don't even have enough yarn to like make another shorty, so I might just use this as like a sample or something. So here's another thing that while I was cranking all of the sock tubes for the shop, I am cranking little bits and scraps of yarn that I have laying around in no like rhyme or reason. Some of them are my yarn, some of them are not. 
I think most of this is my yarn, but I'm just cranking like big, humongous tubes. <gasps> Whoa, that's pretty. That are going to be long enough for our king size bed. And then what I'm gonna do is just mattress stitch them all together because y'all, I, I don't own a hand knit blanket. So even though this is gonna be like a lot of mattress stitching, I could get this done in 2023. I'm not sure how many tubes I would have to make, but it'll be really warm because it's double, you know, it's a tube, so it'll be like double sided. So that's just kind of how I'm trying to use up my scraps. Um, I do also have a Cozy Memories Mitered Square blanket on the needles, which I love working on now and then because I love the signature needles that I'm using, but realistically, when in the heck am I ever going to finish a Cozy Memories blanket? It's just going to take me like 10 years. But this, like, I mean, you can match a stitch pretty fast. This is, this is really, really long. Like I said, it's like for a king size bed, so... That's kind of neat. Plus, I can, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> be ridiculous. Should this be my thumbnail? Probably not. You guys, I got something in the mail today. I am so excited about Scrappy Angel. I met Angel at Rhinebeck, and I will leave her information down below. Scrappy Angel. We, um,. We're doing a trade <laughs> and she's waiting for her unicorn barf which I'm dying tomorrow so I wasn't expecting this yet but we had already talked about like hey what do you want do you want to do a trade and I was like yes because I've never had a peekaboo bag before are you guys freaking ready for this this is the one side it's got kitty cat gingerbread men's and it's a peekaboo which I love because I can see what's in here. This is what I'm, this is what I'm using for my sock design, which may or may not take me six months to a year to do. I don't know. But I'm also using my basket from Pan Banged Knits, the little twinsy basket. You put your little notions in here, and then you've got each skein on each side. So all you have to do is like turn it, turn it, turn it. Great for any kind of like color work, brioche. Um, but oh my gosh, yeah, so I will definitely leave her shop below because I can't even stand the cuteness. Because I don't ever remember, I have to look through every single project bag when I'm trying to find a project. So I'm like, I don't remember what I put where. So um, I also got, because I mistake, I got these months ago, like. I don't even know, six or nine months ago, but I got a, um, the Knitting All Around Stitch Dictionary, which should be helpful for knitwear design, and I got, God, I got these like a year ago, and I just pulled them back out. I haven't even finished the Pip and Ping class, but I love those kind of classes where you can buy, and then they're just like yours forever knitting pattern the beginner's guide to writing knitting patterns because i was like um Leia, how do you how do you how do you write a pdf oh save as pdf okay cool so stupid oh my gosh you guys i didn't work on my um cozy knitter advent socks today at all but i might do that here in a little bit so I might bid you adieu, say good night, see you tomorrow, but I will probably snuggle up and get some footage of me knitting because I didn't get hardly any footage of me doing anything today. I had a little episode with my grandma with that she's had to have like her esophagus dilated and she choked. And because she's on hospice, we don't call nine one one anymore ever at all like we have another line like we have the hospice line that we call anyways so this just wasn't very much to record 
but I'm going to get cozy. It is 11.30, so I am going to knit for at least an hour, and I'll record some of it. Okay? I love you. Take care of yourself and each other. If you need help, reach out. I have links and crisis lines linked below in the description box. Bye.